Lexi Kaufman loves Disney, loves sparkly stuffs and things, doesn't like a lot of attention, oddly. Alexa Bliss. So that's kind of how I attribute Lexi Kaufman to Alexa Bliss. I become her. I'm, I'm not me. I become this character and this persona, and that's what I find most fun about it. <laughs> So I'd watched WWE growing up. It was the thing that my family did on Monday nights. We'd watch Monday Night Raw. Then I did a lot of athletic stuff growing up. I did gymnastics, cheer, kickboxing, softball, track. And then after high school, I went into bodybuilding after college. And after I got my pro card, I didn't really want to do it anymore. And my trainer said, well, WWE is having tryouts. I know you used to watch it. Maybe that's something you could do. And so I went online, submitted a video, didn't think anything would come of it, and I, would, I earned a tryout from that. And once I tried out, I was signed. And I remember having my first match ever in Fort Pierce, Florida on my 22nd birthday. Everyone's still trying to figure out what this Alexa Bliss is all about. Seen certainly a metamorphosis of sorts. Oh. oh! Alexa Bliss has gone through a lot of different phases. When I first debuted, it was a pixie, Disney-ish, Tinkerbell-ish character. I came out, I wore tutus, I blew glitter. Then it transitioned into the high school mean girl and the one that everyone hated to love and loved to hate. It wasn't until what was it, a year ago, it turned me into a darker character, but this has been probably the most fun character I've done because there's no boundaries to it. Sometimes you have to trust the process. Getting ready for a match. It's a lot of mental preparation. There's a lot of physical preparation. Way crossbody. I thought that with my athletic background that anything we did in WWE would kind of be an easy transition, but it is not. <laughs> No matter what, you cannot physically prepare your body for what we do in the ring, which is why you have to train in NXT for so many years, until it becomes second nature. So now, when we're in a ring, everything that we do, kind of, our body naturally falls flat on its back when it's not supposed to. So everything has become second nature in that sense. Oh! So it's a lot of mental preparation. And a lot of what we do is based on crowd interaction and reaction. So a lot of times we're changing things up to get the reaction that we need from the audience and then it's instant feedback. Oh, and it's Alexa Bliss running to the cover! And she gets the victory! We have to always be able to adjust on the fly and you know, still tell the story that we're trying to tell while dealing with a live audience as well. So it's a lot of mental prep. Recovery after a match is um, not fun. Oh! Well, your body goes through a lot in the ring. We do beat up our bodies, you know. It, it's very, the physicality of what we do is very real. So part of that is making sure that you're resting, you're recovering, you're doing everything that you need to do to make sure that your body is ready for your next match, whether that's massage, stretching, lifting, working out. Um, I take a lot of Epsom salt baths. <laughs> Helps with sore muscles, never has been like that, but yeah, it's not too bad. I always drink a lot of coffee, but I don't think that's really a pre-show ritual. I don't know, I pace a lot. Just trying to get more into character each time I pace. Because by the time you go through the curtain, you have to be full on in that character. She's the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss! We have pay-per-views every month, but WrestleMania, SummerSlam, those are our biggest biggest pay-per-views that we have, our biggest shows, and it's a lot of pressure because it's usually our biggest audiences and a lot of eyes on us. Half the year, we pretty much build up to this one moment, and these are kind of where it's coming to a head. So any trade secrets you're willing to share? Big lashes and setting spray. That would be, you're right. You're Big right. lashes and setting spray, make <laughs> yeah. sure it doesn't rub off in the ring. Yeah. A lot of pressure, a lot of nerves, but it always works out so amazingly and is so great, especially when the, the audience is there and you feel the energy of the crowd. The bravery! Oh my. 
Each division has our own champion. We each have our own title, and we all strive to be the holders of those titles. It's kind of like you're the, the face of that division at that time. And we also have a women's tag division, which you they have titles as well. Most surprising thing people know about me. Everything is really public. I love animals. I used to have a pig. He recently passed, but I had a pig. I want to open an animal rescue one day. No one knows that, but that's a goal of mine. And congratulations on your engagement. Oh, hey -o. Ryan's super supportive. He watches every Monday Night Raw. He'll be here tonight. Um, yeah, and he, he comes to as many shows as he can. And you know, he loves it and he thinks it's so fun. We met because there was a rumor that we were dating and we didn't know each other yet. So Miz called Ryan, he was like, oh, I heard you're linked to Alexa Bliss. And he's like, what's Alexa Bliss? I don't know what that is. And then I get a call and they're like, hey, we heard you, you're dating Ryan. And I was like, I don't know who that is. And uh, we actually just started talking that way. And then we became amazing friends and that turned into the most incredible relationship. And now we're engaged, so it worked out for the best. Here's what's crazy. So, not to get morbid, but I never really put two and two together of Ryan's music. When I was younger, I suffered from eating disorders and I was hospitalized from them. And my friend Aaron, who would come and stay with me every day at the hospital, was obsessed with Ryan. Obsessed. And she would always play true when I was in the hospital. I've waited all my life to cross this line. So it's just kind of funny, like, this full circle moment that I would always listen to true with her. And I didn't really put two and two together that it was his music until after we met. What the? Oops. Did we interrupt things? If I wasn't in this industry, I don't know, that's tough, because I went to school for diet after having my eating disorder, so I don't know if I'd be working at an eating disorder clinic or if I'd be pursuing acting, because I was very, I'm, I'm very introverted as a person. I don't think I would have been able to pursue acting if it wasn't for breaking out of my shell in WWE. Well, WWE will always be home. That's always where I'll be, but I would love to, you know, see what happens if I try to go for acting and everything like that. I've been working with an acting coach for the last 10 months, and you know, everything that I'm doing right now, character-based wise, is a lot of acting, and it's a lot of fun. Um, but I would love to try that one day, if the cards allow. That would definitely be a passion of mine. Um, but for now, WWE's home. <laughs>